been a long, long day for investigators today. They've been very busy at several scenes uh, connected to the shooting, including the area near 88th and Dawson. And Denver 7 reporter Sally Mamdu is there tonight. And Sally, gunshots woke up a whole lot of people in that Thornton neighborhood last night. And it has been a very long day for law enforcement as they continue to search for these two suspects. Very long day for us as well. We've chased several scenes where there was a heavy police presence. Those scenes turn out to be not connected to the shooting, but just in the last hour, the sheriff spoke and said he's looking for two suspects that are not connected to the shooting, but are connected to the assault in progress and the disturbance. And tonight, the shooting is putting everybody here on edge. I just spoke to a woman who actually the deputy was shot in her backyard. Her home is the only home right behind me here that's still taped off and there's still heavy police presence outside of it. A quiet night for many suddenly turned chaotic as Adams County deputies chase after three suspects near 88th and Dawson. Just finishing up supper and I was putting stuff in the refrigerator and I heard somebody around the corner of the house um, knock over a trash can. Then I heard shots. Diane Moulter, who lives in this home on Edison Street, suddenly heard a call for help. The call that the officer was down and they needed an ambulance. And Diane says the deputy was shot too close to her home. He was shot in our backyard. Deputies have since arrested one suspect, but the search continues for two remaining suspects. Omar Escobar, who lives in the same neighborhood where the shooting happened, says homes were heavily searched. This one thing went to a house too. And they say you have to be careful online. As a precaution, 18 Adams County schools closed today. This mother is glad her son is staying home. It's a lot safer for the kids and they don't have to go to school and be in lockdowns or anything. Heavy police presence in the area continues today. Earlier in the day, several neighborhoods were taped off as investigators continue to comb through a large scene spanning several blocks, leaving many like Omar on edge. Today, he'd rather stay at home than go to work. I don't want to leave my daughter by herself. Now, those 18 schools that were closed today will open tomorrow. Anyone with us with information is urged to contact the Adams County Sheriff's Office. We are live in Adams County. Sally Memdu, Denver 7. Thank you.